Hello everyone, we're back playing the Sandman. Um, I just failed the mall part 15 times. I guess now we gotta find David, wherever the frick he is, but first we're saving. And then we're gonna look at our items. So we got to find David, wherever the heck he was, because I don't remember where he said he was going. I mean, who wouldn't want to find David? But still, I don't, I don't know where he is. And maybe, all right. Serious question now. Is it like, is David still living in the same building where the crooked man was, Duke? I'm just gonna say Duke because I don't remember his first name, unfortunately. Yeah, there might still be people waiting. <laughs> um, so Reagan's just gone, and oh, David's literally right there. I see you, David. What's up, handsome lad? Why are you looking the other way? Did the crooked man get you? Did the crooked man get you, David? David, you have to help. What's the hurry? <laughs> Regan, an old friend of mine. She, she might be killed by soldiers. Please help me find, look for Regan. She might be killed if we don't find her. And and Anne too. What if? Sophie, calm down. What in the world happened? At the mall, there were these soldiers. I tried to help Regan. We got away, but Regan... Sophie, what's wrong? I don't know. I just feel tired all of a sudden. Sophie, take a break. You're pushing yourself too much. It's okay. I'll listen. But first, you need to calm down. Don't go to sleep. Suspicious soldiers? What could that be about? Is the army getting involved in this? I don't think they're real soldiers. I mean, it's too weird. Why send a high school girl to a firing squad? Yeah, I'm really at a loss here. But I'm sure your friend is fine. I haven't seen any shadows of soldiers like you saw. Maybe they just can't go outside. You made it out with her, right? So she should be fine. Don't worry yourself sick. At, a rate, at any rate, take a break. You shouldn't push it. I know that's what I always say. Sorry for always worrying about you, David. Hey, don't bother about me. I'm just happy if you don't do anything rash. Was she in the first game? I don't think she was. Hey, Sophie, I'm really worried for you, you know. I've always seen pains ever since we met. Oh, you did see how they met. <laughs> Sophie, let's go have lunch. Yeah, give me a sec. Huh? What's wrong? I thought I had five bucks in my wallet. Did I drop it somewhere? Hey, look, girl. I just found a fiver. Ooh, really? Talk about lucky, Reagan. Yes, I am. I suppose some doofus dropped it. I'm gonna splurge on dessert today. Oh, uh, Sophie, I got some allowance money. I can pay for lunch today. I, I don't want lunch. I think I lost my appetite. Yee. Man, I'm hungry. No, I knew I should have had Ann get me lunch. Maybe I have enough for ice cream. Yeah, this new ice cream is great. Maybe this was a stroke of luck after all. Guy, yeah. Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh, your ice cream. I'm sorry, I'll pay for it. The gown on your clothes. You are you okay? That's fine. It's just ice cream. Sorry for bumping you, but um, do you mind me asking something? Are things going on okay for you? You look really pale. I'm just tired and I'm always pale. It's really fine, so please don't worry. You don't need to pay for the ice cream either. Well, look. Is he going to talk about the crooked man? Dang it. Who are these other random people? The cake here is really good. I love sweet stuff myself. I came here all the time to unwind after work. I'm really sorry about earlier. I hope you can forgive me. Is he still a clerk as well? Thank you very much. I still can't believe David's here. <gasps> oh, He's right. This chocolate cake is great. Why do we get to see a close up of her and not David? I feel like it's been so long since I ate some good food with someone. Oh yeah, she doesn't have a dad, and David's probably her like fatherly figure in a way. Oh, Sophie, what's wrong? Why why are you crying? Because I'm David. You shouldn't cry next to David. I'm just joking. <laughs> I I I don't even know why I'm laughing. Bullied. Well, I'd say that happened to me too. But flight school's 
different from girls Catholic school. <laughs> reference, reference. Oh yes, reference to the crooked man. Be to uh, uh, episode two with uh, D. Sorry, that that just got me happy. I don't know why bullies just can't face up to themselves. You know, can't solve their own problems, so they attack others. Sucks having to be a victim, of course. Is he dating Shirley? Yeah, you might be right. Maybe the girl who's bullying me can't face up to herself. I knew her as a kid, and I know there's family trouble. My we used to play together, so I can't bring myself to tell her to stop. I feel like I should just put up with it. You don't need to torture yourself like that. Maybe you should just be honest about it. Oh, well, sorry. I know I'm a total stranger, so it's none of my business. Don't say that. I feel better just having someone listen. Thanks so much. David's making moves. No, I'm just joking. Again, okay, I'm just joking. The kick was solution. I'm glad you listened to me too. I don't have anyone else to talk to. Well, goodbye. Sophie. Uh, I live nearby, actually. Have we seen each other again? Would you talk to me with me? At least very less. I can listen if you want me to. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. If you're troubled, come to this restaurant. And if we see each other, we'll talk. Dang, David is such a great guy. We met up to talk things out many times, but your soul seems so troubled. And all the more, s more so, sorry. I don't know why I thought that was more so, more so lately. I just can't help but worry. That is definitely, is more so a real word? Probably not. It's not like anything's really changed since we met. Just one bad thing after another, and I'm... I sleepless and irritated as ever. I left this, okay? Enough about me. I can put up with it. That's the people have to suffer. I don't want to be the one who whines and cries about it. I can forget about the bad things with time. And this situation is more important. We've barely seen any other people wake, and we have no clue what's going on. Hey, Sophie. Have you seen your father? Yeah. Your father stays at work a lot, right? So I was wondering if you saw him. Was he at home? No, he wasn't. He left the night saying he'd be at work, so I'm sure he'd be there. I said we go look for him. You're worried about him, right? But I'm worried about Regan and Anne, too. Well, I can look for those two. God, they're separating again. Your father works at J.P. Gordon and Chase, right? I'll head there, too, if I find them. And if you finish first, come to the fountain in the park, okay? Thanks, David. I'll do that. David, what? Is there anyone you want to look for, David? Anyone really important you want to see? Surely, sissy, I don't know. Nope, I'm just happy if you're safe. Or Paul, Paul, Marion, huh? Well, I'll see you later, be careful. That is weird. David, no, no, that, that's weird. I'm sorry, David, but I might not trust you. What do you mean, no one? What do you mean, no one? I know apparently D and Sissy are actually confirmed to be fake, whatever. But still, surely and... Point of the month, Chuck Fute. Weird glasses, this guy. Sorry, but good work doesn't excuse the degree of lameness. A car reader. Oh my god. Sick. What am I supposed to do then? What am I supposed to do? But yeah. Maybe I'm supposed to go home? But yeah, that, that was a weird statement by David. I don't know. I just find strange that David has no one to see. I thought his life got better after Shirley or at least like Paul Marion. I imagine they live close. Even if they're in this game. Maybe not. God, but it wouldn't be smart because like the past would be there. Okay, was there anything with J.P. Gordon's? Another truck, maybe. I think we're going to have to just look around. And search for the Scooby-Doo clues. And I also wonder what weird monster. Is this guy? No. Maybe one of the people? As well? 
sleep on the ground? Sorry that I'm like scratching my thing and you hear it. I'm trying to think. Okay. Don't want to look up a walkthrough. I'm probably going to have to look up a walkthrough, but I'm not going to look up a walkthrough. And so I need to walk, look up a walkthrough. This guy. I feel like it might be actually one of the people. Makes sense, right? That, that thing doesn't even have a door. Maybe down here. Wait, that's Chuck. That's Chuck w Walter. I see him. How, how do we get over there? Hey, that, that has to be him. There's no way. Are we supposed to know this code? It's Chuck. This guy's from Dad's work, which means he has a pass. Here we go, employee pass. Sorry, Mr. Chuck, I'll be borrowing this indefinitely. Um, was that supposed to happen? I literally just put random numbers. I didn't know the code. I, I I'm, I'm being honest. I really didn't know the code. <laughs> sure. Apparently, I got it right. How was it 12000? Was there a code? Was that like a secret number? I don't know. I feel amazed, but I feel like it was supposed to happen. Maybe. This city is huge. Where do the cars even drive around? Is this roads? Because these don't look like roads. At least with wide turns. Oh, we did it. Okay. Save. Something bad gonna happen. We didn't even see the Sandman yet. Like, what the heck? No one in the guard room. A puzzling machine. Most of these rooms are locked. Assist, ass, assets. Asset management is where dead works is open. Third floor. I don't know how to open a lock, so I'll just check the open rooms for now. Some documents. It's a game purpose. All rooms auto lock at 10 p.m. It cannot be entered from the outside. Those who remain past 10 must make an advantage, advanced request for a time to keep the locks open. Okay. So somewhere on the third floor, the elevator is stuck. What is this? Reception counter. All right. We'll, we'll figure this out. What will be the monster today? Will be soldiers that are probably Nazis? I don't know. Those were definitely Nazi soldiers. Okay. Where are these sorts of? No. Oh, okay. No, oh, you should be on this floor. Okay. This one. Hmm. There it is. Oh wait, I'm guessing this is the desk we need to go to. Let's go. In front of me, this must be dad's desk. Computer is still on, you must be here somewhere. Maybe the meeting room? Sheesh, what an old photo to keep around. This must be from when I was in kindergarten. You do not look like a kindergartner in that photo. You look like you're in like fifth grade. Oh, what, what a cool teddy bear, though, I must say. So if he's actually a really good character, if, if I'm... I'm saying if I'm hating her, trust me, I actually don't hate the character. Was it David? Was it Chad? But this character is really good, obviously. Papa, Papa, hey, hey, I drew a picture at school today. It's Papa and Sophie. Want to see? I, I see. I love to see, but sorry. Papa's a little tired. Can you show me tomorrow? You got it. Also today, I went looking for chupacabras with Reagan and her friends but we didn't find any I told the teacher and she said chupacabras only live in the south too bad so I want to go south and look for chupacabras you come with me too okay papa sorry Sophie papa's really busy with work we can't go on vacation for a while 
No, I want to go tomorrow. Come with me, Papa. We'll catch chupacabras together. All right, Sophie. We'll go looking this weekend. Can you wait until then? Hooray! I can't wait. Papa, did you drink some juice? I want juice, too. Ah, uh, you drank alcohol. Uh, no, I didn't drink any juice. No, oh, you got tomato juice on your mouth. He's bleeding? Huh? Oh, does he have an illness? Oh, he's still alive, right? I thought he drank alcohol and he was getting drunk for some reason. And you know, I was opposed to it in the first place. Just juggling a child with that sternest work. What a stubborn brother, I tell you. Aunt. One wants to honor my sister-in-law. So what? My point is the class from overwork. She needs to be handed off to somebody. Too true. I've got two kids already, so I can't take her. Maybe I should recommend him a place. Auntie? Sophie, I didn't see you there. What happened with Papa? Does his tummy hurt? Ah, Sophie, your Papa pushed himself a little too hard, so yes, his tummy hurts. Is Papa gonna die like Mama? Why, surely not. If you be a girl girl, Sophie, I'm sure your Papa will get better soon. Really? Yes, of course. Okay, Sophie, be a good kid and don't worry about your Papa. Ooh, nobody wanted her. Papa. I'm sorry, Papa. I get all selfish to make you worry. I made your tummy hurt. Sorry, that box. I won't be selfish anymore. No, I won't ask for ice cream before bed. I'll eat my broccoli and liver and onions. People eat liver still. Like, I haven't had liver probably ever. Maybe once. And I won't cry when you're not there. I'll learn to sleep on my own at night, so. So please get better soon, Papa. That is very sad. I hope he's okay. I should find him quickly. We're what? 18 now? We're a teenager, right? We're 16 to 18, I think. Dang, that is rough. Okay, I guess we'll just keep going out. Now let's explore all the rooms first. Information research? No. Programming in. Excuse me. Okay. That yeah, was nothing. Meeting room one. These are the meeting rooms, right? We probably want to be. Meeting room two. Let's say. Okay. Meeting room three. Wow. <gasps> Papa. Papa, what is it? So Sophie, why are you here? It seems like all the people that Sophie life most happen is awake. David, Anne, Reagan, and now her father. Sophie, run away. It's dangerous here. It's coming. Huh? What? What's coming? Excuse me. Oh my. A dragon. You're going to tell me there's a dragon. A, a dragon in this RPG game. Holy fudge. Oh my god. Sophie, run. Papa, come with me. Hurry. Oh, cool. I get... Okay, okay, cool. Holy crap. Oh my god. This is cool. Oh, oh frick. Okay, we, we just gotta... We just gotta run. Oh, sick. Okay, let me just go around quickly. Jesus. Crikey's. Oh, he's right behind me. He is taking the Mario Kart shortcuts, ain't he? Okay, I gotta, I gotta freaking. Oh, dude, every time it shakes, it scares me. Okay, this is cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh, Papa's about to get nipped. Oh, my. Dead. He <laughs> put a whole dragon? Oh my god, that that's cool. I'm, I'm sorry, but I did not expect it to be a freaking dragon. That is so cool. 
That's unbelievably cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compliment it. What happens if I go this way? Troops on you. So. Oh, look at those dudes. Run, 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 run. We're, we're just like speed walking. That's what it looks like. Okay. Um. Oh. I got touched. So it's left, not right. It's left, it's not right. It's left, it's left, it's left, it's left, not right. This is still such a cool thing. Like, how is it a, like a dragon? It makes no sense. But that's what I love about it, because I don't think it has to. Frick, the fire. Oh, I'm so dead, aren't I? Fudge! No! God, God, dang it. God! Run! Oh, we got such a head start. What are you gonna do? Okay, run, 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 run. Switch up here, switch up here, switch over here. Ah, wow, uh, Papa. Chiffy, so run, get out of the building. No. God, that hurt. Shoot. Papa dead? Papa! Okay, let's go back in. Papa, no. What? Papa? It's a dream. It has to be a dream. I'm having an awful nightmare. Because I can't explain it. Black shadows, weird soldiers, a fire breathing dragon? Let me wake up. I don't even want to sleep if this is the kind of dream I'll have. If I can't wake up, then help. Please, somebody help me. David, help! Looks like you dropped it somewhere. Papa, where are you? What is this? Something's on the ground. Is this one of my teeth? It fell when I was blown back. I'm depressed. Oh, because my papa actually... Is he by the fountain now? What will she say now if I go in? Oh, no, yeah, let's look deep for people, even though your dad is freaking dead! That's no, fine, sorry. When you can't see their eyes, you know it's serious. David's not here yet. Hmm? A horse? <laughs> the heck, was something there? Yeah, it was a horse. That was a, a whole horse. Whole horse. No, no. Why, why are you going so fast, horse? Is this... In, what is this? I tried it, it's locked. It's unlocked. Yeah, go in, whatever. Yeah. Okay. It's just like someone's apartment. Wait a minute. That's a sleepy woman. Okay. I, I was thinking for a second. Okay. That was David. What? No way. That, that can't be. Bro, oh, Sophie. Was that, was David there? Did you find your father, Sophie? I did, but he's gone. Gone, what do you mean? You got separated? Something like that. I see, sorry I couldn't find my friends. I wonder what they be, could be. I searched the town over and again, but I haven't found anyone awake. No choice but to look harder, I guess. Let's go, Sophie. We'll have to find your father and your friends. Just 
Who are you? Huh? Yeah, she saw David, didn't she? What do you mean, Sophie? What, what sudden? Who am I? David, of course. Liar. Because David is in that apartment. You son of a gun. He's asleep. So who are you? Anne, I mean, who are you? <laughs> Not seeing what you mean here. It's me. Don't go asking who I am. See, first of all, you say I was sleeping over there? Let's say it's true. Why wouldn't that one be the thief? Because he's not. Because you already lied to me. That alone tells me I can't trust you. Lied? What lie? When did I lie? Stay away. Don't get any closer. Who the heck are you? Why do you look like David? Oh boy. Looks like you got me. Jeez. It's the crooked man. Wasn't my fault, Elise. I'm sure it was his interference. Sheesh, what a pain in the neck. The crooked neck. <laughs> did, did you do this? Did you put the town to sleep? Wasn't me. It was the Sandman. Is that Sandman? You mean that fairy who? Yeah, you know him, don't you? Uses sleeping sand to put humans to sleep. Well, he put all the humans in the world to sleep forever. D don't. Do you think I'm stupid? The Sandman put the whole world to sleep, as in fairies actually exist. Oh, you don't believe it? After seeing shadows, soldiers, fire breathing dragons. H how did you know about the dragon? I didn't tell you that yet. God, that it was me. You killed my father, you son of a gun. What? You mean you've been doing all of this? Yes, that's it. I'm Lullaby, one of the Sandman's creations. Lullaby? Sandman decided to put everyone in eternal sleep. He made special sleeping sand, different from his usual. He stopped time and scattered the sand worldwide. The humans fell asleep while time was stopped, but not everyone. There were people like you. I guess you called them insomniacs. Oh! So, there are others awake? Yeah, here and there around the world. So the Sandman brewed up a plan for them, and he made me lullaby. The ones who can't sleep are uneasy, angry, impatient. How do you put those people to sleep, you think? Clear up those feelings. Erase their worries. Grant their desires. Satisfy them. That's what my job is. If someone can't sleep out of the worry about their work, I sing them a lullaby of a successful project. A woman vexed my... By, by romance, a lullaby of hooking up. Children in places of war, terrified of gunshots. I sing a lullaby that the war is over, and they can all sleep peacefully. Hold it right there. Then that makes all the stuff I've seen my lullaby for you, Sophie. No way. What kind of lullaby is that? I want to be put at ease by that. That that stuff of nightmares. You should be more honest with yourself, Sophie. Don't you feel such disdain from your friend, saying she was worried, yet never acting on it? Then you want her to be condemned as a liar? Saying she was worried, yet never acting on it? Then you want revenge on the girl that was once your close friend, but now bullies you? Then you want her to be executed in front of everyone? Stop it. Didn't you want your, the company that took your father from you to go up in flames so he could pay attention to you? Oh my. Stop it. Oh, Sophie. You shouldn't have just not done anything. Just watch him suffer as he wished. If you had by now, you would have been able to sleep peacefully. Where's the Sandman? You son of a gun. Why do you ask? I'm going to stop him. Putting everyone to sleep is no joke. I'm not going to let him do that. Take my hand, Sophie. What? You want to go where the Sandman is, yes? I'll take you there. Really? You do realize I want to stop him. Aren't you on his side? I can't do against your wishes. It's my job to grant them. 
Are you scared? Of course not. Take me to the sand. Okay, what? Where is this? Is this where the Sandman lives? Huh? The guy's gone. Time to go alone. It is very well. I'll go alone. Alrighty, we're ending that here. I wonder why, because that was a chaotic episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know how much longer this game is. I've been recording for 30 minutes now for this one part. And I'll see you guys in the next video whenever I'll play this game again or finish it. Apparently I have zero dollars as well. Alright, see ya.